Hi all, welcome one more week to the channel. This is our first time that we do a video vlog and we're going to tell you how was the second week that we work as real teachers. So let's play the clip. A few weeks ago, as you have seen in our post, our teacher Linda Castañeda gave us the opportunity to work in some activities with children. And I don't know if you know it, but as leads in the University of Murcia, there are no practical with the children until the second year because we don't have the competencies that we need as teachers. So this is the second Tuesday that we do it and we still have another one. And basically, basically consists of using technology not to make activities more fun. I was saying that using that technology is not for making the activities more fun, but it's for learning through technology and making a use of it in order to maybe promote the children um, encouragement with technology. And if you encourage your teacher to use it and schools start use it because of our activity or because our teacher starts doing them maybe we are promoting that. some Tuesdays we even start thinking about the activity that we are going to develop but this Tuesday we were really tired and it sounds funny and worried because if we are exhausted with only five children being six teachers and for almost an hour of work. We have met today at the university and after testing the application with a color drawing and reviewing the faces of the water, we distribute some parts of the work. We were debating about making a cardboard with the water cycle explanations as other colleagues had done as we had seen in their videos, but trying to get some other ideas we decided to recreate a weather forecast using a projector as a background for the explanation for the water cycle representing the augmented reality, not only in the tablet but also projected in the computer. That's how we came up with the title of the MetaKids program. To add another touch of creativity, we came up with the idea of creating two dice and personalizing them with the name of the children and with each phase of the water cycle. In this way, learning would be a complete game. Hey, it's Monday and today we have talked about some last minute issues. We wanted to try to start by briefly explaining the water cycle or trying to find some YouTube video with the information we were looking for but then we changed our opinion size it was possible that it was not heard well and our intention was that the children will help themselves by writing in what phase consists of it also occurred to us that the children uh, finished the video this time by inviting our viewers to watch all their videos of our channels since the idea of seeing themselves in YouTube was so exciting. Hey, the day has come and uh, today is going to be our second experience. So I'm going to meet my colleagues and see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Here we are. Uh, wait a moment that I show you on camera all the materials that we are going to use. Here they are. We are all right now connected in social networks and I want to take the opportunity to tell you that you can search on Instagram with the hashtag uh, ripped1819 and specifically for this activity uh, you can look for the hashtag un día en el cole de mi maestro and in addition I will put here uh, the rest of accounts of my colleagues so you can also take a look there. Hello again! Uh, I'm going to explain you some things. As soon as the children arrive, they leave us 40 minutes with them in order to complete all the activity that I explained to you the other day of explaining the functioning of the water cycle through augmented reality. Our teacher now distributes the identification cards to the children so that they work with the different groups that we are. 
A detail that strikes me is that even she mixes the children of different schools and thinking about it, it may be a good technique in order to have the children more concentrated because they are perhaps more shameful and behave better in front of strangers. Although we don't deny that it costs a lot to separate them from their friends even if it's only for 40 minutes. Hello, the truth is that the children were very collaborative and they know uh, enough information about the water cycle, but one of them uh, were disturbing and other one didn't want to participate in the video. Also, all of them were very excited because they are going to appear in a YouTube channel. Um, we are very happy, but we have the need to take a rest after putting all our effort in them. But satisfaction makes worth it uh, another time. So, see you next Tuesday? Tuesday. The other time, the experience was so good. And today, I think that we were less nervous. And we felt like it says in Spanish, este pan comido. Mm -hmm. But thinking about it, uh, maybe the other time the children were easily to manage them and this time because of that girl that were more shameful and the other boy that were disturbing a little bit and trying to catch our attention. I can now be aware of how difficult it's to manage different personalities and different behaviors and the difficulties that presents you in that moment and you cannot solve them uh, thinking about the theory because when you are in the practice um, you forget how to react in that situation so I think that um, we need a lot of reinforcement in in some concepts and try to improve and improve it's normal that mm, children are all different from the other time and next week uh, they will be different too so we will continue practicing <laughs> It can be a stupid thing and it doesn't mean that I'm going to have them there forever but I'm keeping these ID cards because it has a symbol for me and that reminds me on how we work with those children and because seeing ourselves in that situations is what I think that we need to try to apply this theory on practice and right now they're like medals for me so here they are in my bathroom <laughs> oh, that's all I hope that you have enjoyed the experience the video and we hope to to show you more content more materials and more experiences for the next time so thank you so much for watching it and see you soon